Well, I was actually going to make a video um, this morning just to send to Zoe to talk about um, my thoughts on moving and so on and so forth. But uh, just before I was, um, she sent me this photo or a photo uh, mentioning that, um, I don't know what his name is. Hold on. Renowned artist, Sir Alfred Munnings. Anyways, there's going to be an exhibit. Oh, it's on right now at uh, the Canadian uh, War Museum, which is in my uh, city in Ottawa. And uh, I was like, oh my God. So I'm so glad she sent it to me because I'm taking uh, the end of February off from about the 17th and I don't go back till the 1st of March. So I'll be able to go to there. Wicked. Um, let's see if you can see some. And I also took a look and they said, uh, no worries. You can uh, even you can reproduce our stuff uh, for non-profit, non-commercial, whatever use. Just make sure you always mention that it's you know from the uh, Canadian War Museum and and so on and so forth and where the direct uh, people are. So I guess that's from the Munnings Art Museum. Anyways, what else? I uh, might as well just say what I was going to say to Zoe or whatever. So yeah, I think what I've kind of clued into last night before uh, off to my second sleep was. Excuse me, baby, I'm looking at it the wrong way, uh, move-wise. Hold on, I also wanted to show you that uh, I did pick, a, uh, I did get a map of uh, Africa, so that'll be fantastic uh, to be able to show um, a lot of what's going, uh, a lot of what's going on there. Hold on, I'm just gonna hit pause so I can go back to the. Yeah, I'll show you the um, the tent blanket or whatever I made for uh, Leo. He's been just loving it, so. Uh... Mind you, he's acting like a total freak right now over there. He's running around, but it's because he hasn't been sleeping. For, I mean, he's been sleeping for so many hours, needs to do some energy. Yeah, I've also been working on uh, or trying to get my head right snapped back into uh, the actual game, my, my actual mini game. Um, and it was ironic last night when I was about to start doing the moves for the Russian Second Army again. So I've plotted out some of it. I was thinking, uh, and it kind of just felt um, the momentum not there. And I was thinking of uh, Charles Latour's comment about, uh, got all the pieces on the board. I just need to make the first move kind of thing for, uh, I think it was across the Narva he was talking about. Um, I also, good news, found out that I'm allowed to use that um, that silhouette. Um, it's from a, a website called the Clip Art Library or whatever. And uh, it's free to use. So I actually am going to try and make my own uh, t-shirt today or well after work or whatever. Um, I still have to go buy, actually buy a real uh, like a blank t-shirt or whatever. But uh, yeah, I would like to give that a shot just to see if it works. Um, it's about oh yeah about the move. So I just dawned on me. I was like you know what I'm looking at this backwards in a sense. It just yet again because I'm you know off for my second sleep and I was thinking hold on I want to grab my coffee. Um, I'm looking at this the wrong way in that, um, you know, work is getting in the way, but I want to, you know, I mean, obviously you need to live. I mean, you, you have to pay bills and so on and so forth. Um, so can I find, like, maybe I'm looking at it the wrong way. Like, uh, I want to spend more time devoted to researching World War I. Uh, believe it or not, I even started... Um, uh, assembling um, places for me to get information on how on how to help on how to help uh, educators uh, present information, uh, and uh, some of it is World War One related as well. So I was like, okay, this is going to be great for the live stream. This this should help me out. Plus, uh, it's I'm starting to clue in that a lot of the skills that I developed in university, like writing essays and so on and so forth. Gosh, they're just I haven't used them in years and years and years. They're ridiculously rusty, and I'd like to, uh, you know, get those back again. I was hammering out like four a week for Christ's sake, so it was just nuts. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking, can I find maybe I should not be looking for all my wish list things of buy a house, property, and so I'm looking at it the wrong way. Maybe I should go. You know what? Find a place that is. Uh, good enough for I, I can live on a limited pension cost of living wise, sell the house to my nephew, pocket the money, rent in a rent a place where I want to live and look for a place over time. And it's going to still take me about maybe about a year to disentangle my life from here. So that should give me a time to talk to, you know, the pension office and so on and so forth and find out a spot that goes, yeah, that's where I would kind of like to live and the cost of living I like in other words, I'm never dipping into the savings. I mean, otherwise, then you're 
then, I, then I'm in trouble. So that's about it. And uh, so I'm thinking, okay. And yet again, if let's say I rent an apartment temporarily until I find a spot and so on and so forth, all that time that I'm not mowing a lawn or worrying about fixing this, that, or the other thing, all those things are, um, all that time is being spent doing this and uh, World War I related material. <laughs> that's the way to go. For me anyways. Okay, hope you have a great Wednesday. Bye.